Hi guys! Today we're going to look at a really useful feature in Unity that allows us to use mathematical equations to position groups of objects. Previously, we've looked at how we can use simple equations in the inspector. So for example, we can enter 5 plus 2 in the X position and it will set it to 7. In addition to this, there are special functions we can use when editing multiple objects. So in this scene we have 10 cubes. We'll select all of them. Then in the X position, we'll enter L to use the linear function. We'll add brackets and then enter a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 9. This will then evenly set the X position value of the cubes across this range. So the first cube is at position 9, the next is at 8 and so on. We'll use the function again for the y axis. This time we'll set the range from 0 to 4.5. Now we have a perfect set of steps. We can even take it a step further and use more complex equations. We'll change the y position to use the cosine function. We'll set the range to be from 0 to 2 times pi. We can see the position now follows the cosine wave. We'll multiply the whole formula by 6 to space them out a bit more. If we wanted to position the cubes in a perfect circle, we could then do a similar thing on the x-axis. This time we'll use the sine function. Now we have a perfect circle of cubes. The first and the last are now in the same position, so we'll just remove one of them. Another formula that's really useful is the random function. Say we wanted to have a random y rotation for the cubes. We can just type r and then specify a minimum and maximum value. This will randomly set the rotation of each cube to a value between 0 and 360. This function also works with individual objects selected. OK, that covers everything for this video. Hope you found it useful. A big thank you to all our patrons. We really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!